if you shopped at a Target recently, your credit card information could be at risk. The retailer confirms that it has been the victim of a massive security breach there. News 12 New Jersey's Walt Kane is in your corner to explain what you can do next. Well, Rick, you know, the big thing about this is that this security breach happened during the busiest shopping season of the year. It actually started the day before Thanksgiving. So a lot of people could wind up being affected, including, quite frankly, me. So here are a few easy steps we should all consider taking now to avoid big problems later on. If you're one of the 40 million people who shopped at Target between November 27th and December 15th, you may have had your credit or debit card information stolen. Target confirms someone hacked into their point of service computer system and stole customer names, card numbers, and expiration dates, even the three digit security code on the back. Target says online customers were not affected. It's the fastest growing crime in the country, and it's going to continue to be that way. Paul Oster is a credit card fraud expert. He says even if you weren't affected this time, sooner or later, all of us will likely fall victim to some kind of identity fraud. All of our information is in 10,000 different databases all over the world. It's a question of when, not if, for sure, that someone gets access and uses it. So what should you do if you think your card information was stolen? First, review your bank and credit card statements and check every transaction. If you see one that looks suspicious, call your bank or credit card company right away. Also, check your credit report periodically. See if there are any new accounts set up in your name. You're allowed one free credit report a year from each of the three major credit reporting companies, or you can get unlimited access by enrolling in a credit monitoring service. Those usually cost about $10 a month. And if you'd like an extra layer of protection, you can also call any of the major credit agencies and ask them to set up a fraud alert or a credit freeze. The freeze means no one can issue credit until you lift it using your password. Neither of those options is perfect. They can make it harder for you, in fact, to get credit yourself. Do you know something I need to investigate? Call me, 732-738-KANE, or email caneinyourcorner at news12.com, or find me on Facebook at Kane in Your Corner. And there is more information about this on news12.com wow. for you. The other thing is, you know, th in this day and age, you don't have to just wait until you get the monthly statement in the right. mail. Check online, check at least once a week. Uh, you know, this does happen, A lot of victims, 40 million. And, and you know what, I mean, there, there was one a few years back, I think 2009, where there were 130 million. So wow. these things happen. Uh, it's gonna People happen to victimized. you at some point. Uh, right. Just have to be alert. All right, well, thank you so much. And this leads to our question of the day. Do you pay for credit monitoring? Yes, no, or I will now. Vote in our online poll at news12.com, or you can go to News 12 Interactive. That is channel 612 on your optimum cable box.